Washington, U.S. Representative John Katko has joined a group of 20 Republican moderates openly rebelling against party leaders by trying to force a vote on a series of immigration bills. Katko, our Camillus, signed a petition that could force an open-ended debate and votes on four bills aimed at preserving an Obama-era program that allowed young, undocumented immigrants to remain in the country without fear of deportation. House Speaker Paul Ryan, R. Weiss, has been reluctant to deal with the Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals, DACA, program since President Donald Trump ended it last year. House Majority Leader Kevin McCarthy warned the Republican moderates in a closed-door meeting Wednesday that the move would divide the party and make it easier for Democrats to gain control of the House in this year's election, according to a report by Politico. But after the warning, Katko defied GOP leaders when he and Rep. David Trott, our Mish, became the 19th and 20th Republicans to sign the petition. Three other House Republicans from upstate New York signed the petition, Reps. Elise Stefanik, R. Willsboro, John Faso, R. Kinderhook, and Chris Collins, R. Clarence. Katko and Stefana co-chair the Tuesday Group Caucus of Moderate House Republicans, a group often at odds with GOP hardliners in the Conservative House Freedom Caucus. Republicans would need at least 25 signatures on a discharge petition to force a vote, assuming all 193 Democrats joined them. As of Friday, 176 Democrats had signed the petition. Discharge petitions are a rarely used procedural tool in which House members can bypass a committee and force votes on any bill if the majority agrees. The House has 435 members, meaning that 218 signatures are required to force a vote. Ryan called an emergency meeting with GOP members in his office Wednesday night in an attempt to defuse the showdown. Earlier, he told reporters it was pointless to move forward with immigration bills that would only be vetoed by Trump. Patco told Syracuse.com in an interview Friday that he's tired of waiting for Congress to act on immigration reform. We know that in order to get the border secure we have to make some concessions on DACA, which is the right thing to do anyway, Katko said. Either way, I'm proud the moderates are becoming a voice, Katko has previously called for Congress to address the immigration issue. He co-authored a public letter on May 9 with Rep. Jim Himes, D. Khan, that asked Democrats and Republicans to work on a permanent solution to DACA that could allow Dreamers to remain in the United States. While members of the House on both sides of the aisle have spent plenty of time debating the merits of the DACA program in the newspaper pages and during cable TV appearances, we have yet to have an open debate in the People's House on an issue that we know the American people want us to solve, Katko and Himes wrote. We were elected to serve as the voices of our constituencies, and yet we have failed to act as those voices on one of the most critical issues of our time, the letter said. The 16 Republicans outside of New York who signed the petition are reps. Carlos Curbelo, Mario Diaz-Ballard and Ileana Rose-Layton of Florida, Jeff Denham, Stephen Knight and David Vladow of California, Will Hurt of Texas, Mia Love of Utah, Charlie Dent and Ryan Costello of Pennsylvania, Fred Upton and David Trout of Michigan, David Reichert of Washington, Mike Kaufman of Colorado, Mark Amode of Nevada, and Leonard Lance of New Jersey. Contact Mark Wiener, email, Twitter, Facebook, 571-970-3751.